A senior military official outlines the challenges facing the U.S. in the 21st century and how the armed forces are preparing to deal with them. One America's Hans Hubbard reports. Adapting to a world characterized by threats from not just one, but now multiple potentially hostile nuclear powers is key to maintaining U.S. security and global superiority, according to one of the armed forces' top strategists. This was the main brunt of a speech delivered on Monday by Navy Admiral Charles Richard, current commander of U.S. Strategic Command, at the annual Space and Missile Defense Symposium. The security environment we live in is very different than the security environment our strategic uh, concepts were originally designed for. When they were originally designed, it was for a bipolar environment. We must tailor our strategies, plans, and capabilities for the full spectrum of conflict in a world with more than one nuclear-capable peer. In outlining the challenges facing American forces in today's global sphere, Richard highlighted increasing threats from both traditional and emerging nuclear-capable states. While he says Russia remains a potential rival, particularly given ongoing modernization efforts of the traditional and nuclear arsenals, the admiral pointed a finger at Beijing as the most salient threat to the security of the U.S. and its allies. Now with China, you have to watch what they do, not what they say. And look at what they've done with their conventional arsenal. If you go back to 2010, they've almost doubled the number of ICBMs from 50 to 90. By our highest estimates, they have more than tripled their number of short-range ballistic missiles from 400 to 1,500. They're also taking significant strides to expand and modernize their nuclear capability. They're expected to double in size of their nuclear stockpile in the next decade. Richard's assessment coincides with reports of China's ongoing expansion of its nuclear capabilities. In the last year alone, the country added 30 nuclear warheads to its stockpile, more than any other country on Earth during that period. The Admiral also touched on the threat posed by Iran and North Korea, which have both recently invested heavily in the development and enhancement of missile technologies. A leaked UN report showed this week Pyongyang has likely been successful in producing nuclear warheads small enough to fit inside a ballistic missile. Meeting these challenges, Richard asserted, will require both a revision of existing deterrence protocols and heavy investment in new technologies to keep pace with developments in rival nations. In order to deter our adversaries in the 21st century, we need to affect and alter their decision calculus. We need them to know that any attack on the United States or our allies will have little margin or probability of success and that our response will result in a very bad day for them. Chief among these, the STRATCOM commander said, will be the integration of detection and response technologies into a common framework, an effort already underway by the armed forces under the JADC2, or Joint All-Domain Command and Control Initiative. This seeks to align all American missile defense technologies under the Any Sensor Best Shooter principle, enabling threats to be shared across all commands in order to deploy the most apt response as efficiently as possible. These efforts, according to Richard, will be fundamental in updating American military capabilities and philosophies, readying the nation to stay ahead of the emergent challenges posed by a shifting security environment in the 21st century. Hans Hobbard. One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.